Well, uh, hello there and good morning uh, to you all. So, this will now be my review for Bleach 582 entitled uh, Atlas Star. Uh, so, uh, well, uh, on this chapter, basically, Kubo started. Uh, when the last one ended with <coughs> Ishigo and Zaraki kind of exchanging words and in that, pro <coughs> in that process uh, we see that uh, Candice basically jams on to Ichigo and tries to attack him from behind um, but she fails uh, and basically he, he throws her away uh, then he is attacked by <coughs> the other three and he, they suffer the same f the, the same fate uh, and then we see uh, Candice kind of using uh, a, bow, a bow. Uh I think it's the first time mm, yes that we see um, a Quincy using a bow, uh, a bow in this uh, stage of the war or any kind of weapon besides his own powers um, so that was kind of interesting uh, then uh, she fails again uh, and she becomes pissed off because uh, um, basically she messed her hair okay um, then the other three kind of join in they all attack uh, they kind of destroy the 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 cape that uh, covered um, Ishigo's body and we see a full appearance of him in his new uh, she can show um, and then uh, I think it's Southern Ritter G that eventually says that uh, because all the other girls are kind of wondering about uh, who is this guy and she kind of says that uh, he is Ishiko Kurosaki the, the apparently the most important of the war potentials that uh, Emperor Yawak referred um, and um, they attack him um, they do not have uh, any chance uh, and like I did say on my last review, basically this kind of show as the, the level of power that um, Ishigo possess and he is not even breaking the sweat so uh, then we see Yawek near the end of the chapter appearing and basically is advancing apparently uh, alongside Ashwald and Uryu uh, and then we see on the last page uh, asking Naklavar um, kind of confirming that the time has, is now the time for what I do not know uh, and then we see the last um, in the last last page near the end we see uh, dark uh, panel um, with someone sinking uh, I do not believe that this sinking is um, asking Naklavar uh, I don't think so so um, I think that the cliffhanger and uh, what's going on in this last small panel is the most important factor of this chapter 
besides the fact that we do see that Ishigo does indeed has become powerful uh, and so on uh, and that uh, Yawak is planning to begin something but the, 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 the thing that I think that it's of great importance for the next chapter is that last panel all black uh, because it's a, a, a thought and a talk from who that's the the question um i do wonder about it um and let's say i will make uh, four hypotheses in my opinion that could mean that final thought on the chapter like i did say i do not believe that this is the talk of asking uh, it can be but it will be a very bad cliffhanger if this is simply the continuation of asking uh, that also says that it's time to begin so i think that talk belongs to someone else now uh, we see B, e, the panel is in black so uh, this could mean uh, three situations first situation uh, it could be someone thinking traveling through a garganta and it could be the appearance of the forces that were gathered in Wekomundo by Urahara. Another hypothesis, but it's kind of far-fetched in a way. It's also related with the the path between uh, soul society and the human world and in this case it could be applied to the, the visors because the last time we did see the visors uh, they are kind of asked to kind of restore the path between the human world and soul society so it could be them i doubt but could also be a hypothesis third hypothesis um, even if I do not know exactly how it could be Yashiro in the sense that uh, probably before Grammy dies he send her away to some, some place and uh, maybe she found a way to return to some society maybe uh, and the uh, final hypothesis uh, even if that will be very strange uh, because I do not see the connection there it could be the full bringers coming uh, kinda inside um, a cannonball from the, the Shiba and uh, maybe uh, but uh, my uh, favorite option of the, the the several that i say is probably the the hypothesis of someone traveling in the garganta uh, and probably it will make an appearance soon maybe uh, but uh, the the important thing of this chapter for the future of the story 
I think it's that small thought in the last panel, in the last page of this chapter, uh, because I think that's kind of foreshadowing the appearance of someone. But uh, basically, that's the chapter. This is um, a chapter that uh, first show us how Inshigo is boss. <coughs> It does not surprise me in that way. <coughs> Second, it's interesting because it reveals that something is going to happen, something that needs the intervention of Yawek, Ashwal, Uriu, and apparently Naklavar. And that small panel in the end of the chapter. Um, those, for me, are the most three important aspects of this chapter. But in terms of um, great development of the story, it's kind of a transition or pre preparation, more exactly a preparation chapter for entering in a new point in the story and a new point in the action so that's it so this is my review for bleach 582 hope you enjoy stay well peace and see you soon